Okay. So I'm going to move on to my damn... Ah, I need scissors. Safety scissors. You mean box cutters. Harump, harump. Ow. Okay. Now, gonna drop these bad boys in there. Guess it goes like this. Take the bottom part off. Make it less shit to move around. Try to get that in there. That's not that easy. Okay, that went easy. Alright, that's on there. if I can see. That'd be nice if y'all could see. I'm not going to put any carter pins or anything on there right now because I'm probably going to take this all off when I get back to the shop. I'm just going to bump it down so it's it's not uh, it's not going to fall off in transport. Alright. Okay, so moving on to my uh, tension rods, I'm gonna get these baddies installed. Together. I'm assuming that's how they want them on and I've got my Isis um, tension rods that I'm going to be installing it also came with bolts but they are a lot shorter than the 
the ones that came with the control arm. I'm assuming that's because the control arm is uh, thicker than the OEM. So I'm just going to go with with these bolts. And also the spacer on there is uh, is etched out, uh, carved out so that it can meet with this tube you know, on the control arm. So I'm assuming that's got to go there. And then since there's two of those uh, locked uh, lock washers or star washers where you want to call them I'm assuming that the tension rod goes in between these two so that's just my my uh, take on it so I'll put these on and oh, I should probably take the other side off too put that down put it down bar Fuzzy fucker out. Alright. And, uh, let's see. Damn, this is a long one. Thank you very much. All right, there's that. And then there's that. Oh, cool, there. Um, I thought these, perhaps these tubes would be uh, hollow on the inside, but they actually have a sleeve in there so that they're not, uh, not as shitty as I thought they'd be. Um, Okay, so I'm assuming that this will go and that fits in there. Yep, that fits good. Uh, this is going to be a juggle, man. Hail. Alright, I'm going to put that down. Put that down. These down. That doesn't fit in there. Oh. Okay, so we know this piece goes at the bottom. This piece goes at the bottom like that, so... Son of a bitch, this is gonna be a... Pardon my language. Okay, that's gotta go like that. Like that. You got the notch right there. And then it goes like that. And then this Oh man. Whoa. It goes like that, right? Maybe. I'm okay with it if you're okay with it. Okay, I'm waiting for an answer, but you guys can't, can't answer me yet. Okay, and then, get the bottom one, or the back one. And we got the, I guess this is like a, a steer bump, bump, lock, stop, whatever, keeps the thing from hitting the arm. That's what it does. I oh, know, that's what it does. I'm telling you to your face. Yeah, that's what it does like that. Just like that. But not like that. This goes through the bottom. It kind of guides that. Alright. Try not to kill your perspective here. Ooh, we have a little problem. Oh, wait. No. Nope. Probably. Nope. Yep. Nope. There it is. Yep, that's it. That's it. Almost, that's almost it. That's it. I know it. Okay, well, it, it's kind of it. There we go. I think that's it. Yep, that's the one. You know what? 
I probably should have done this um, before I put them on the car. This probably would have been a whole lot easier while it was still on the ground, on the floor. Uh, well, I know that for the next side, for the other side. And also, oh, I remembered, I didn't throw away my inner and outer tie rods or my old tension rods. Oh, I didn't, that's not the case at all. I did not throw them away. They're at the shop because I, I had them in a box and I took the box to the shop. So that's where they be. But nonetheless, I mean, I'm not driving it. I'm just going to get it there. I need to get that all the way up there. This got some, it's got a joint. It should turn a little bit. Nope, she don't want to turn. I'll make it a little longer. It'd help if I had, some, you know, upper arm strength. I really don't want to hit this thing. Hmm. What would be the best way to go about this to get this fucker? into its home without hitting it because I don't want to hit stuff <sighs> oh, hitting it does seem to be the way the only way it understands I mean business Still need to get the bolt to go through on the other side. It's got this little gap there. I can get my rubber hammer. Okay. Well, my phone seems to have frozen on the last image. So I don't know if we're still recording. Penny fell out of the car. Hell yeah. A new one, Dan, if you return on my investment. Awesome. Awesome. 
So we have control arms. There is. I'm gonna do it the ratchet. The ratchet. Ah, there you go. Ah. Where did these go? like a tiger. figure out where I want the uh, where I'm gonna want the uh oh, stop to stop bumping Turn the turn a little bit.
you know what I'm thinking this thing's getting bent I think uh, and I'm still tightening <laughs> I still I think the adjustments this was supposed to be on top of the uh, yeah I think so I think this was supposed to be on top of the tension rod can see it's it's getting sandwiched I think so uh, yeah I think so need to get my I'll, I'll fix that later get my top you guys freak out this is not final setup this is just a put it together so I can move it and then uh, at the shop I'm gonna go in and tweak all the settings and get the because uh, this this uh, this tie rod actually does have uh, some specific settings that you have to get a line. I think it goes down. Yeah, down like that. And it's, so you need a. So that's something I'm gonna have to play with because uh, you do have to have it a certain way. And I'll show you real quick how we're supposed to connect the. Uh, how you run this uh, bolt through and then this goes on top like that and the way to tighten it and you see the whole thing wants to turn is your, your, your these gold ones are are your locking ones I believe I'm not sure let's see and then we got these other two Be able to just run these up. Yeah. And you jam those two together. That's not it. That's not really it. What is that? Point four? Standard? Nope. Oh boy. Here we go again. What are you doing? Poor dog. Neighbor's dog. He doesn't take care of him. He's got all kinds of 
thing that's going on with him. Okay. Now with that jammed, and you can hold on to it like that. And then, what is this, a 19? Nope. There's my 17. Yep. And you can tighten that down to 17. And I believe the torque specs are about 40, 40 foot pounds. Mm. I just use my uh, German torque specifications for right now. It's uh, good and tight. Take these off. Tighten up again. Yeah, I just thought about it. I hope y'all can even see this. It's way down there. There, let's see. That shaft is on there. Oh, come here. That's on. 